going to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personnel who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Islamic microfinance is becoming an increasingly popular mechanism for poverty alleviation, especially for developing countries around the world. This microfinance service adheres to the principles of Islam as a form of social responsibility. Yona Islamic Microfinance is the Islamic microfinance of choice in the Gambia, trustworthy and reliable. At Yona Islamic Microfinance, we provide savings products, current accounts, financing products in conformity with Islam. In addition, Yona Islamic Microfinance also offers local and international remittance fund, management of zakat, management of awqaf, trading and investment, and building of strategic partnerships to bring financial services to the doorstep of the poor with donor projects, madrasas, youth organizations, women groups, and farmer organizations. Make a choice with Yona Islamic Microfinance today. For more information on Yona Islamic Microfinance, call 377-2151 or 9832151 or visit Yona head office at Thipa Garage, Bakote or visit any Yona branch located countrywide near you. Big stories that make news 
in the Gambia, whether it's in politics, economics, health, science, or what the case may be. Welcome. This week, we will discuss the major topic of the week, which is the planned march group, after the group that is who calls itself Gambia Women's Lives March. Now, over the last 24 months or so, this group has been busy tabulating the maternal mortality rate, which they said is so alarming that uh, the indeed the attention needs to be thrown to it. But they've been given a slap on their face by the police who denied them permit to hold that plan much. Now, with me in the studio to discuss that is uh, Aisha Jani. He's, she is a member of the group and also Ibrahim Adrami, both of them members. Now, to help us make sense of uh, the data or the statistics they put together as far as maternal mortality rate is concerned is, of course, Dr. Jan. Dr. Jan is here in the studio wearing two caps. He's also the leader of the APP, and we will catch up with the current negotiations by the opposition politicians aimed at uh, forming a coalition for 2021 elections. But like I said, that bit of the program, politics, We'll wait until later in the program. Hi, well, welcome, Dr. Jan, once again to uh, the brunch. Thank you very much, and I mean, for having me on. Good. Like I said, Thank you. we will keep your missiles and bomb cells <laughs> until later in the program because we're dealing with matters uh, that are really dealing with life and death. Of course, as a medical doctor, you know very well this subject. But let me go straight to members of the Gambia Women's Lives Matters, and that is uh, Jane and uh, Drame. Welcome to the brunch. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, let's go straight to the point. You know what many people wanted to know is, how do you come by these statistics, which is really alarming by all standards, um, that a number of women are dying while uh, delivering, while, while, while trying to give birth to, uh, I mean, children and you, in fact you have a number of children who also died in the process and in most cases these people report to medical facilities in the Gambia. The situation has gone so bad that people wanted to know whether one, is it because uh, now, uh, I mean a joyous occasion like giving birth is now a death sentence in the Gambia. That is as far as our facilities are you know, concerned in dealing with this issue. Let me take you back. When have you started, your group started observing that something definitely is bad when it comes to maternity, um, mot I mean maternal maternity? Maternity, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Cham, thank you very much for hosting us today at your program. Uh, first of all, it started from a young girl called Matida Bojan, mm -hmm. um, whose mother is Malin Cham. And if you mention Balin Cham... Yeah, that's a familiar name yes, in, the, in this campaign. Knows, yes, everyone a knows. A well-known name in this campaign, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sure. Okay. And her daughter, um, after finishing her school, she's doing nursing okay. in the U.S. And he, uh, she once comes holiday in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. And then, before coming holiday, you first have a foundation called Mama uh, Care Foundation. Mm -hmm. And then from there, he visited Gambia for holiday. Mm -hmm. And then he went to one of the hospitals mm -hmm. in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. But the condition and met, there. met there, and the way uh, the patient had been welcoming and treated, mm -hmm. she was not happy at all. Mm -hmm. And then she decided to meet her mom mm -hmm. and to talk to her that she wanted to create something mm -hmm. to see a better welfare system in this country. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, come with the Gambia Women's Life Matter. And she's just 21 years old. Oh, so if I understand you, this little girl came on holiday. Yes. And she happened to visit uh, one or two of our health facilities. Yes. And she looked at how patients, especially people who come to delivery, are treated. Yes. And then she went back to her mother, Balin Cham. Balin Cham. And suggested that, look, something has to be done. Exactly. For us to bring attention to the plight of a woman who goes to this health hospital. Exactly. And um, so what followed next? And then 
the mom knows that okay that's a big challenge mm -hmm. for the young girl mm -hmm. but at, at the end he lets her to do it okay and then from there that was last year mm -hmm. uh, september 2010 mm -hmm. um, we launched mm -hmm. uh, this organization or uh, this movement for Gambia, women's life matter mm -hmm. and then on that day we make a mud pass mm -hmm. but even before then well, we have some victims already okay and then from there we talk to those family to okay. invite them to the mud pass okay uh, last year from youth monument to uh, 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 alliance franco okay where we got it where now is the current jar oil okay stays on okay and where we do the event okay. but it was really successful and then from there uh, we start uh, uh, making data from the deaths that we encountered. And that was last year? That was last year. Which month ago? That was uh, September 23rd. 2020? 2020. 2020. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you, you, you then become to keep serious data, yes. seriously collecting data on, on uh, maternal mortality rate? Exactly. Okay. How then, since then, now, almost a year, Yeah. Um, how bad is the statistics now? Um, Mr. Chan, uh, we are totally disappointed mm -hmm. uh, because we thought that doing that might pass mm -hmm. uh, also to sensitize people about what is going on. Yeah. We thought that maybe mm -hmm. uh, the healthcare or the government mm -hmm. will do something about it mm -hmm. so that at least if we don't uh, uh, reduce mm -hmm. or things going down we, we were not thinking that we would uh, encounter Entering. more, more okay. deaths. Okay. We now, we at this moment, I can tell you uh, in our data, mm -hmm. we registered 201. 201 and maternity, yeah. maternity deaths death. from September last year to now. To now. And now how, only that. How can one believe your death? Because it's very important that we know these are not mere figures, but this is exactly uh, people who died while giving birth at, in hospitals. How, how, can, how do you get this data? Uh, Mr. Chan, mm -hmm. uh, Gambia Women's Life Matter, mm -hmm. here we are not, uh, we are a group of people, mm -hmm. but also we have members mm -hmm. around all over the country. And I can tell you, from that, we get contacts from other people, family members, mm -hmm. that will give us information mm -hmm. about the patient mm -hmm. and about the condition, how they are, mm -hmm. especially when they are in need of blood. I see. So I was going to ask specifically, what were the, there complications from, um, how to call it, cesarean operations or bleeding, lack of attention, lack of medicines that can save their life. I want you to, maybe, 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 uh, Isa yeah, will, Isa come. will come. Isa will come. <laughs> but, but generally, yes, go ahead. But with all that, mm -hmm. people think that Gambia Women's Life Matter, mm -hmm. we go around to people mm -hmm. to ask them about their condition or to ask them about their health care. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Within ourselves, within our members, mm -hmm. They will pass information through them mm -hmm. to read to us mm -hmm. that they need this and this for their uh, uh, for the patient or for their patient, mm -hmm. and we step up come and to come in yeah, I to see give support online. Yes, yeah. to give support to them, mm -hmm. and through that mm -hmm. we face a lot of difficulties, mm -hmm. and through that also mm -hmm. we will uh, we will register the deaths okay. within the maternity and from there yeah. that's where we get our data because the family members themselves ah, will give or send us mm -hmm. a copy of the death certificate and sometimes of the, even pictures are yes. posted online yes that's why i often say well people who are doubting this now these people cannot sit and put up somebody who is living somewhere and said he's dead yet we don't have reaction so so it's very difficult exactly. to doubt it when you have actual fig pictures exactly yeah. that's 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 the uh, that's the question yes to ask 
why people are doubting about Gambia Women's Life Matter? Yeah. Because, well, I, I, I can say that it is the government authorities, health authorities, who yeah. are the people who doubt, cast doubts generally. Yeah. I mean, they, they, you know, most of, like I'm going to read a press release which suggested that they are casting doubts, but <laughs> I mean, I've not heard from any quarters that uh, they don't believe your figures. But, but, uh, uh, Cham, I will take you back a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you, if you uh, could remember, uh, maybe a few months ago, mm -hmm. There is a press release, I don't know if Farfenya uh, or where, yeah. whereby the health uh, uh, the workers, yeah. them giving yeah. that information that the difficulties and the corruption yeah. that within the health system. Exactly. Yes. You understand? Yeah. And that will tell you that yeah. whatever we are saying Absolutely. is not from us. Yeah. We get it direct from the patient and the family members of the patient. Exactly. You understand? They've been giving us the information through the patient and the difficulties that they have. Yeah. Sometimes we are not in at the at the at the at the, at the place yeah. where where, where uh, these patients are yeah. at the hospitals. Yeah. We are not there. Yeah. They've been giving us calls so or text us message. Sometimes even the health workers themselves give you exactly information out of frustration for what exactly and the challenges that they are facing through. Yeah. Because we are not going to blame. Uh, we are not going to put the blame on them that much. Mm -hmm. Because if you uh, if you check it, uh, yeah. Mr. Cham, yeah. the health sector is very very poor, and there are lack of facilities mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. A mere glove, Mr. Cham, mm -hmm. a mere glove yeah. at this RVT. Yeah. Few months ago, they don't even have a glove. A, 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 a peasant a, 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 a basic thing like glove. A glove. <laughs> a, glove. <sighs> a mere glove, yeah. and the peasant have to contribute themselves. To get, to, to get a glove. For the nurse to, for the nurse for the nurse to wear, to, to present, to, to, uh, to present them, uh, to protect themselves right, from, 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 from any infection okay. or whatever. Infection, yeah. exactly. So oh. which is not done. That's which is not okay. done. We will come to that. There was a particularly very bad case, yeah. which was as recent as last week. We will come to that because that one is mind blowing, mind boggling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a completely inexcusable. We will come to that. Thank you. Aisha, you as a young woman yourself, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are very enthusiastic and active in this campaign because you, as a woman, you know, of course, from uh, in the future, you might have to experience this yourself or might have seen your peers already experience this. But let's, you know, start where, where is it? How authentic is your data? Like what my <coughs> partner said just now, what my colleague said, mm. it's very painful. It's very painful, I can say. Yeah. Because the data, as for now, yeah. Since September last September till now, yeah. we have we have two hundred and one dead, two hundred and one dead, and it's not only that. We have ninety three babies. Ninety three babies. Ninety three babies. Yeah. Which I even forget. Ninety three babies. That is, that is in the greater banjo. Yeah. That's that is in the greater banjo. That is yeah. in the greater banjo. Yeah. So in in some cases, both the mother and the child would die. That yeah. is in both, the greater both, banjo. Both of them died. Yes. Oh, it's very it's very serious it's very serious it's very serious and one thing this baffles me mm -hmm. because you even pose a picture mm -hmm. you know no one will dare to post someone's picture well, because for instance if yes. you post my picture and, and say and, that and reported me yeah dead. you reported me there somebody will come yeah for somebody will come for you the yeah die. somebody will come for you okay. so how comes these people they'll be like no this is not true. And I even saw it with my, I even saw it and heard them saying it. I think it was a media, I don't know, NPP something media, like NPP something media. They said they went to a particular hospital where those, uh, where that, in that hospital, yeah. I don't know, it's a nurse or a doctor who made mention that there is no dead, the dead we have mentioned, mm -hmm. it's not true. And we get up. We are not. We are not here for mail. Yes, yes. We 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 said the hard fact. Yeah, okay. And whatever we said is the truth. We cannot. You know. You you cannot post someone's picture. Mm -hmm. That and, then, and, and you reported. Report for instance, yeah. I post your picture on Facebook and reported that uh, Mr. Cham is dead. Wow, for it, wow, you, wow. you come <laughs> for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come for me, yeah. but unfortunately, these people, I, I just say that they don't want to know the truth, and they even they want they know they know the truth, mm -hmm. 
and they just blindfold their eyes and turn their back on which, us which? and which we are just trying to help mm -hmm. the government should push our agenda mm -hmm. to help them we are just helping them to go through with their like we are making their work easy, easier, easier for, for them it. yeah okay. because they cannot be knocking on people's door mm -hmm. We want a blood. We want. We want you guys to donate us blood. Yes. But we are doing that for them. Yeah, absolutely. They should be thankful okay. and grateful and appreciate our job. That's okay. right. All right. Um, Mr. Jang, Dr. Jang is here. Like I told you, he's wearing two caps here. Yes. He's yeah. A politician and a medical doctor who has a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask him um, in a short while to tell us, uh, enlighten us, what are the basic things that needs to be available that are in this case not available mm -hmm. and making the situation very difficult for women to have uh, health care but first uh, to give the other side of the story mm -hmm. I want us to go to what the hospital said recently uh, before we get into the uh, you know to the police and other things that's this is what the hospital said okay they said um, the Edward Francis small teaching hospital <clears throat> The hospital management is aware of the recent cases of maternal mortality circulating on social media that had part of their treatment at our hospital. We would like to extend our sincere condolences to the families involved. Now, they started by acknowledging yeah. that they have seen uh, cases being reported on social media mm -hmm. uh, suggesting that people died, maternity, I mean, people died you know, in their hospital. Yeah. And they are, condo I mean, they, are, they are they are really extending condolences. Then they went on. Why we cannot comment on individual cases? We would like to reassure the general public that all mortality cases are reviewed routinely to identify any personal or system errors mm -hmm. to learn from and avoid future occurrences, as well as to ensure that standard procedures have been followed. Mm -hmm. Review of all recent mortalities have not revealed any deviation from accepted standard procedures. However, we endeavor, as with all cases, to learn from this. The hospital's obstetrics and gynecology department is the premier department of the country and receives all complicated cases from every health facility in the Gambia, public or private, mm -hmm. and as such, mortalities at our facility will be skewed, meaning, of course, will be recorded or reviewed. Mm -hmm. We are cognizant that there is always room for improvement, but we endeavor to continue to provide as good a standard of care as possible with the resources at our disposal. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your continuous support and understanding, and we make constructive, we take constructive criticisms of our service delivery positively, as this will help improve the care we provide to the Gambian people. Exactly. What you, what you can, what I can understand from the press release <coughs> is that um, even though they do not, they do not categorically dispute your figures. Mm -hmm. In fact, in some extent, they try to, they, they tend to agree mm -hmm. that uh, to their best of ability Jeez. and capacity, and of course, resource-wise, mm -hmm. they have really maintained standards, and that even though they review these deaths, they want to believe that. The treatments that were given to this who died were not below standards. So maybe that, maybe, which means this might be cases they don't have capacity to handle mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. But this has been their uh, rep response. Now, let's talk to the experts in the room. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Jan, you have vast experience in, in medicine and medical cases. Um, let's start by talking to you as a professional first before we talk to you as a politician. What do you think could lead to such? A high maternal mortality rate in the Gambia. Because I remember when I was growing, there was a very good program <laughs> called Primary Health Care System. Mm. You know, where there was radio programs where, you know, very simple messages would be broadcast to mothers, you know, how to take care of diarrhea, for example. They would tell you, you know, even before you read the health facility, take salt and water and just. Very good primary health care system. Yep. Mm -hmm. people, people were vaccinated against polio until that was eradicated, measles. What now is going wrong? Right. Of course, it's a total uh, system failure, like in uh, many departments. Um, but fundamentally, what is wrong with our system, uh, especially the health system? We don't have a good preventative care medica medicine. In, in advanced countries, there is a very good prenatal care. 
Uh, I have during my training, believe it or not, delivered 100 babies in a month. 100 babies? 100 in emergency situations. Yeah. And I have seen, this, this is in Southern California, Mexicans crossing from Mexico coming to the United States yeah. to deliver, who have no, uh, we have no record of their prenatal care. So at a very, very high risk, they come with high blood pressure or they are anemic or they are diabetic. And we don't know. But we have the facility set up with everything that they need, all the emergency ready, because we know they are not, they, they have not. Yeah. So in the case of the Gambia, uh, not only do we don't, we don't have a good preventative care program, as you just mentioned, yes, we have uh, eradicated polio, mm -hmm. but, but measles mm -hmm. uh, and other childhood diseases yes. are still around. Yes, of course, malaria is still around. around yeah. And malaria, that's, malaria is a very deadly disease. In mm -hmm. fact, malaria kills more people than HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. ah, yes, yes malaria kills more people. Than, and women are very, very susceptible. Still, when you are pregnant to malaria, yeah. very susceptible. So that uh, the, the, the pre preventative care mm -hmm. If that is well, well organized, well established, mm -hmm. a program that's well uh, run, women going for prenatal care must not only be looked and say, oh yeah, okay, they should do uh, ultrasound scanning mm -hmm. to see how the baby is doing, uh, they should do some blood test to see if you are anemic or not, they should even test too if you are diabetic and you make sure you're not high, you don't have high blood pressure. Because some women, during their last stages of their pregnancy, they develop high blood pressure for many reasons, because the kidneys are overloaded with, with work, oh. and, or sometimes it's just genetics. I mean, you be predisposed to high blood pressure and diabetes because in your family. Mm -hmm. So I would be surprised if most of these people dying really are because they don't have good prenatal pre care. Yeah. That is fundamental for any for any country. Mm -hmm. You must have a very good meaning pre to prevent assess it. them what they are prevention. Like individual cases that might lead to complications. Yes, prevention is better than cure. Yes. yes, so that these women need to have the, the as you have said education. You have mm -hmm. to educate them. Mm -hmm. The facilities now used to have during the BP government, during, uh, during the colonial days, radio and other uh, yes, uh, yes. mobile units yes. teaching women uh, how to take care of their children are pregnant. That's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is, it is yeah. fundamental. So, so it's two things really, lack of preventative care and also the poor facilities, poor equipment, yeah. poor, 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 poor uh, medication. Mm -hmm. the, you know, it's a lot of things. You know, so, so that um, the system needs to be overhauled and a new team put in place. Fundamentally, I've said this in the past, yeah. APP government would make sure every Gambian has insurance, national health insurance, and that would give an excellent pre preventative care, because that's prevention better than care. We, are, we understand that as a medical doctor, I've worked it, and I understand that's the way to go. But is it not compounded by the problems that the healthcare workers themselves are facing? Only recently we had the bitter quarrel with the minister for uh, uh, neglecting their allowances, etc. Yeah. Mr. Drabi reported the struggle they had to even to get a glove to attend to a patient. Absolutely, absolutely. I, don't you think all this could, could contribute to... As I said earlier, um, yes, uh, the facilities are poorly equipped, mm -hmm. the doctors and nurses are poorly paid, mm -hmm. okay, and that's very important. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there was a time in the Gambia, if you are working for the government, mm -hmm. you are not allowed to open your own clinic. Yes, there was a time. Yes, yeah. but that was stopped because government doctors were quitting. We are quitting. They are quitting, so they are bringing foreign doctors. Right. And, I, and I've said sometime in the past yeah. that there is what is called cultural medicine. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Gambian doctor understands the Gambian yes. mental and how they think and the disease process mm -hmm. that they go through. Mm -hmm. exactly. So that if you see a Gambian doctor who is well trained, well equipped, he can treat you better than a foreign doctor. Yeah. Believe it or not. But if all that, if the, if all those facilities are not there, mm -hmm. equipment, poor equipment, mm -hmm. uh, staff are, well, are, are are poorly paid and probably overworked. Wow. Yeah. How many, you know, how many uh, uh, schools of you know, training, um, um, uh, nursing school training students, I mean, school facility do we have? Maybe the university, I don't know if the university has a bachelor's degree program, but I doubt it. I think we still have the one um, uh, government nursing training school in the Gambia, it's the only one. Yeah. Maybe Bansan has another one, I don't know. There was one in Bansan. Yes, so it's, 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 it's a lot of, it's, it's, it's not only, you, you can, it's not only one thing, several yeah. things, several, several things. things. Yeah. But, um, uh, there, is, there is hope in the pipeline. We hope that the AP government will be changed. Because if you have at the hand of the government a medical doctor, yeah. surely, yes. surely without any doubt, yeah. that's the number one thing that we're going that to take care of. Yes. Let's hear this specific But, but okay. just yes. not to cut you, I want to ask a question. Yes. This, before I don't want to get, no. these 201 uh, one. deaths mm -hmm. uh, of, fi of women yeah. who yeah. died during birth, uh, the delivering, and also the 93 babies who died uh, at birth, uh, is this only in the Congo area? Only in the Kumo or is that is within the Kumo, greater, yeah. greater Banyu area. Greater Banyu area. Oh, 
and uh, that's the reason why Gambia Women's Life Matter. We are doing fundraisings. We also uh, open an account where we are looking for donors to come to and to put hands together to support Gambia Women's Life Matter. We know the healthcare or the health sector they cannot do it alone. We know the government cannot do it alone. But we want to work hand together to help them because. You know, this is uh, 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 this is gonna be good for the country or for the government because one, we will making things easier, easier for, them. for them. And uh, Lamin, we want to go all over uh, from Kwena to uh, Khartoum. You understand? We don't want to just uh, uh, work within the Greater Banjo area. No, that is not our aim and target. Mm -hmm. What we target is we go up to Kwena, mm -hmm. up to Khartoum. You understand? Yeah. To go around all over the country to know exactly what is the problem of the women's giving but always having so uh, that much difficulties. You know, because um, what we see uh, within the greater Banyol here, these women are facing these difficulties. How about the women's living provinces? Yeah. <laughs> I just, Those people I, are dying. Yeah, I just want to interject. And there is no record of those. And, yes. no, exactly. No, no, so no, these no, these no, numbers no, could be exactly. could be more than five hundred or the thousands. Exactly, yeah. and that's why that's why we we make a fund uh, fundraising for the um, uh, ambulance. ambulance yes, yes. You know, yeah. so that it would be easy access for Gambia Women's Life Matter mm -hmm. to go all over the country. Mm -hmm. You know, to 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 yeah. help yeah. the women to 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 talk to them. Mm -hmm. You know. To, to to give them uh, a, a bit knowledge of how to prevent themselves exactly. you know, when they get pregnant. Now, let's deal with the specifics. Yeah. I saw in your campaigns on social media, sometimes a case of blood, mm -hmm. yeah. the, the, the dirt, the, <laughs> the lack of blood, yeah. um, and then, you know, sometimes complications. Particularly, there's a very bad case that's been reported last week, said somebody who was under cesarean operation, sure. and the electricity Dynamic, off, and there was no standby general. What happened? What, what, what did you group gather on this particular case? Very bad. Exactly. Uh, that was in Brekama. There yeah. is one in Brekama, yeah, and there is one also in oh, Farafin. Two. Two in yes. numbers. There is one Brekama. What one exactly in did, did you land uh, happen in Brekama? Okay. At Brekama, mm. uh, we don't know exactly mm. uh, as for now. Yes. But at Farfanye, yes, in Farfanye. The man himself, the husband, mm -hmm. uh, was having an interview with uh, King's Event, I think, two King. days ago. Yeah, yes. yeah, that long ago. From the audio from the uh, husband himself, yes. you can hear what he was saying. Exactly what he said. Cham, that will show you that how can you put someone on theater? Mm -hmm. You don't get prepared stand and stand by generator mm -hmm. or the fertilities that you need to put mm. in before you operate someone uh, but you already start operation and the light is going on and off and you don't have at the same time the husband was complaining that they have a, a, a blood at the blood bank okay. that worked for emergency and her wife was on emergency to deliver okay. and he was need of blood wow. and he said that they deny him for blood they tell him that that blood is for emergency. He has to go and find a blood before they will take that blood. And which is totally wrong. And then later on, he went and find a blood. And, and then he give that blood to the hospital. And they uh, continue with the operation. And that in the morning, they call him that your wife died. And that's why he was pointing finger on the healthcare system that they are the one who killed her wife. Because she, oh. died, she died out of negligence. Yeah. How many such cases do you receive from us as, as, as your group? There are a whole lot of cases, I can say. Because most of these women mm. die out of negligence. Mm. Some of, they, will, they will even say that some of the nurses will, should be attending to them. Mm. They, will, they will be with their mobile phones. We know, honestly, it's very true that... It's very true. They cannot do it alone. Mm. We know that. But we are helping them mm. to push their agenda through. I see. Yeah. So, so you recognize... But that. they recognize us mm. as politicians. And this organization has nothing to do with politics. Okay. We're coming to that now. You applied for permit to the police. Yes. Yeah. You were with the impression that 
uh, because of your noble agenda, which is to highlight yeah. this uh, terrible uh, maternal mortality rate, uh, you believe that you'll be given the permit. But the police wrote back to say that the, the permit is not granted. What is it you take it? They said they don't grant a, a permit. Ah. Uh, we can only hold a press conference or press release. <laughs> but or, Mr. Chan, or, or, or submit your grievances, <laughs> grievances yeah. to one official. <laughs> exactly. Honestly. But but they only gave us a permit to to take a pro, a march pass. Exactly. Last year, 2020, mm. they gave it to us. Yes. And we didn't make any problem. Ah, okay. Okay. And this year, yeah. they make a promise that we will get a permit mm. only for the last minute to set. Mm -hmm. Until the last minute, yeah. they read to us that we are not going to get a permit. We okay. can they only go to one place, yeah. give our <laughs> statement, mm -hmm. and then that's all. Move. I think at this stage I will indicate that I've just, even a few minutes ago, I was contacting the police PRO on the matter and I couldn't get him on the line. Perhaps maybe we'll be lucky. Okay. I might get him later to yeah. say. And we don't why know. Exactly. And we don't yeah, know why. What are the reasons stated on the, in, on the refusal letter? Or there what? is we, no reason. There is nothing. They don't tell us this is the. Reason, reason why why they will deny us to get a permit yeah what do you did you feel that uh, perhaps the police or the authorities might like you said consider this to be a politically sensitive uh, sure. matter that we are heading to elections perhaps if you and come out to highlight this kind of thing people like dr jan may in the opposition may blame uh, <laughs> they may, may put the blame on the government perhaps it, that's why Exactly. It uh, could I, be. I seem to have Mr. Jaina. Hello. Good, Mr. Jaina. Uh, Ch Loving Cham here. I, I, like I said, I was going to get your opinion on the, the rejection of uh, a permit for the uh, Gambia Women Mart Lives Matter. Do you, you have any official explanation for it? Okay, you, you don't. What I can do is to find out the reason for the reception. So you don't, at the moment, know the reasons that were given for the non granting of the permit? They said the other time, that's uh, last year, they were given permits and as far as they knew they conducted themselves very well. Um, so, I don't know, they are surprised now that this time now they are not being trusted or, or whatever. <laughs> what do you think could have led to that? I'm not, I'm not sure, Mr. Jai is audible. Um, hello, are you there? Hello, yes, I'm here. Good, okay, yes. I was going to say, last last year they were given and they were trusted, and as far as they are concerned, they conducted themselves peacefully. Why do you think that's not the case this time? That's why I said, most probably they won't have the reason to admit and told the reason why the committee is turned down. There are several reasons why the committee may be turned down. For example, the timing. Okay. Yeah, well, as far as the concern, the letter is concerned, it didn't specifically spell out the reasons, but it said they could still hold a press conference or perhaps work with their grievances and present it to some official concern, etc. Yes.
Good. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much for enlightening on us that. Thank you very much. Uh, as always, that is the PRO for police. Well, basically, just to go because you must have problem with all the, all the, all the, um, it wasn't very much uh, audible. What he was trying to say is, okay, he didn't know the official reason. He knew about it, but he's yet to go to the bottom of it. But then he said permits are denied based on so many things. Like last year, yes, you were given, but this year it might, you know, coincide with the situation of security, fears of insecurity, and so many other things. This was, could come to play in the decision to deny you permit. But like he said, these are the circumstances that can lead to permit being denied. So he said, of course, he's going to go down and find out more what are the specific official reasons for, 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 for denying the permit. You're not happy with that? Probably they have maybe fear we that we are, are going into we, election we, year. We, we are totally not happy with this. Because, mm -hmm. Cham, number one, Mm -hmm. They make a promise that we will get a permit. Mm -hmm. And we organize ourselves well ready for this. Mm -hmm. Because this is our one year. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing more de uh, maternity debt increasing. Ah, and, and we want to make a stop of this mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. it go, uh, it reduce. Uh -huh. You understand? Okay. But like denying us this permit, yes. it will really affect us yeah. one side or the other. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we will not stop giving the message to Gambian people. Ah, okay. Because we want to give the message to Gambian so, people so, so to you, know so exactly think, what is going on. So you and think if the permit denial is designed to stifle or, or kill your message, <laughs> you are saying that you are undeterred. In fact, you are going to be even more pronounced and more visible. So, so, I mean, we are not going uh, backward mm. for this. Okay. Because this concern is for whole Gambia mm -hmm. because the life that we are saving yeah. today could be ours or can, our can be can be the next president of yes. this country. Yes. No one knows. No one knows. Today is us. Who knows? Tomorrow it can be someone else. Absolutely. We want to create a, 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 or try to uh, a, a set a, a healthcare system whereby mm -hmm. for Gambian women will be delivered mm -hmm. without no scare or fear. Mm -hmm. At, at the moment I'm speaking right now, people are scared in this country to, to get delivered oh, or I even see. to get pregnant in this country. <laughs> As I'm talking to you right now, yeah. someone even um, have to go for an operation mm -hmm. um, because of he have a lot of uh, difficulties uh, with this pregnancy. Okay. And now mm -hmm. he, he, uh, she doesn't even she get the money mm -hmm. to pay for her uh, uh, operation, $21,000. Oh, yeah. She's even she trying to sell mm -hmm. because of uh, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Her husband is not working anymore. Oh, okay. And then now he even wants to sell her own things oh, to, just, just to get that pay. money yeah. to get an operation, you know, for, 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 the, for to, to, to save her the baby. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, that, are, that are the things that we don't want to yeah. see in this country. Absolutely. Because we have. Nobody will not say that there is no money in this country. Yeah, there is money in this country. But the way the money is misusing and the way they, we want to see that money to invest in our healthcare system. We want to see very good healthcare system in this country. Um I mean, diaspora or if you go to outside Gambia, mm -hmm. we've seen the way the healthcare system is. I mean, if you step in the hospital door, like the way people treat you, the way they welcome you, Absolutely. the way they... Very bad. The way you are treated. The way they treat you, Lamin. Yeah. Very, I can, I can start, very, like, can like, start a healing process. Exactly. <laughs> you don't even, exactly. That's kind of healthcare system we want to see in this country. Not exactly, but at least 70, 60% or 80% of it that we want to see. I'm like not only giving ambulance to the uh, to the to the healthcare. Well, the president oh. uh, last time gave twenty ambulance. Said, I don't know some some more a dozen more will come. But Lamin, uh, what but was it? Check. Lamin, if, if you are giving that to if you yeah. are giving that to, to 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 the communities or the healthcare system mm -hmm. or to the healthcare or to the health post, mm -hmm. Lamin, mm -hmm. you don't give them medicine. You don't give them equipment. It has lesser use. What is the use of the ambulance? In some cases, even fuel. Yes. Exactly. I, I want. To like, what, what are the uses of the ambulance? I want to get to that. Yeah, I think when before there is before when you can get fuel, you 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 uh, you will need to move the patient fast. You need an ambulance. I, I, but I know ambulance may not be enough. Yeah. But then the ambulance also is useful, isn't it? Ambulance is useful. Yeah. But but at the first place, Lamin, 
uh, Dr. Jan is here. Yeah. Before giving the ambulance force, mm -hmm. where will where you will put the patient to uh, to the ambulance where exactly? Are, yes, and right. putting him in or her in the ambulance, mm -hmm. where do you have to take to, to a facility? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if that facility is there. it's not in a good, it's not well good, equipped, well equipped, and so it's not in, in a so good condition. So, <laughs> so what is the essence of giving the ambulance? Honestly, yeah, honestly, uh, doctor. Yes. You you definitely should help us here. What do you think? I mean, these people are highlighting failures, not just absolutely, with, the, absolutely. With, the, with this medical um, medic, medical service problems. But in fact, he's, he's saying that there is a greater problem, which is priority. Mm -hmm. is the, few, the legal resources itself is not prioritized. Uh, uh, the situation is tremendous. Mm -hmm. I happen to have uh, emergency medicine specialty, mm -hmm. and I know what an emergency is. Yeah. An empty ambulance doesn't have any bottle drip of water doesn't have any cardiogram, doesn't have any resuscitation, doesn't, maybe doesn't even have oxygen. I watch the ambulances coming from Dirkama or from, or from Busumbara or going to Banjul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the patient in the back, the family, mm -hmm. and the nurse in the front mm -hmm. of the ambulance, mm -hmm. the nurse would be in the, in the, with the patient. I see. Sure. So, so you watch them? You feel, I watch them. You feel, you feel the patient, the, the is patient in the back with the family yes. will be one family, and the nurse is sitting and in the front. <laughs> So, and the ambulance has no equipment. Mm -hmm. All they are doing transportation. This is serious. What's the use of the? Wait, I'm, 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 I'm not saying the ambulance should be sitting with the driver. Yes, I'm not, the, and, yes, and I've, the seen that. Will be with, I've, I've seen I've seen that. Her, 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 her. I've, I've seen that. You know, in other countries, even the ambulance driver is, yeah. is, is a medic. It's a medic. Is a nurse. Is a medic. He's trained to know how to do CPR. Yes. You know CPR, exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah. Cardio, yeah. cardio, 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 Right? Yeah. These ambulances are empty. They don't even have oxygen. Yeah. They don't have anything. So you, you, I'm, you, not, I'm you, not saying that we're going to have ambulance. Ambulance should, should, should daily kick off the life in seven process. Sta started right in the ambulance. ambulance. It's not just transportation. It's not transportation. It's not just transportation. Right. The life saving process starts so right, starts once you right, get right in the ambulance. Mm. When you get to the hospital, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you might uh, maybe even in this area you might find that there's there are few staff to attend. Yes. Yes. And then you don't have a glove. Mm. Yeah? You, anywhere in the world, if you go very to take a patient, especially in that case where I said be ready to deliver, which is in my you have to put on gloves. Uh, now with COVID or without COVID, you have to put on masks. If those are absent and the drugs are absent, mm -hmm. listen, when I was in Lamin, in, in the, in, I mean, this is probably a couple of, uh, couple of years ago, mm -hmm. I remember RVH had to come and ask me for the drugs that they needed, hmm? Pitocin, which is given to men who are in labor. They didn't have any, none in stock. Mm -hmm. And just once or twice. Luckily, I had some, I gave it to them. Free of charge. You know, no one so, so, so it's, 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 it's a big issue. Yeah. I, I think we all, re, we all realize that governments in the past haven't put priorities. Mm -hmm. You see, one thing is build, building, is building a hospital without uh, having equipment. I, I and have having personal experience, particularly mm -hmm. of the yes, yes. six area, which is now a problem now. Mm -hmm. It's a death sentence. Mm -hmm. I had three children <coughs> that were operated. Yes. You know, cesarean, three yes. times. Yes. And they are all living and kick and healthy, as, yes. well, as well as their, their mother. Yeah. Th that was 2001, yep. 2005, and 2010. Because the system so had what has gone wrong now. Deterioration. Yeah. It's, everything is going backwards. backwards. As I said earlier, the government is going reverse. It's not going forward. Everything is going reverse. Yeah. I used to see people when I was in Lemon. I mean, I, I, I don't point fingers <laughs> at. I mean, a certain individual, but I used to see people come from the center supply and offer me some supplies for sale that they've taken from the center supplies. So that's not a problem. That's not a problem. <coughs> see, so the ministry is aware that we've got is we've got the supplies, but maybe they are not going to the right place. They are not going to the right place. Someone maybe suffering. I don't know. It's very difficult. Because it's very what difficult. makes it? If government it, there's no transparency, will see, yeah, and accountability, will claim of importing and millions and millions. Of Dallas is what of things transparency, and you don't find them in the public transparency, health facilities, accountability. No one, the, the typical Gambian likes to give excuses. They, they, are, they, don't, they don't want to get accountable. That's the problem in this country. And, we and need, we need, we need a mindset change. We need a mindset change. The and Gambian you know, every need to change every paracetamol you steal from the from the hospital means you are killing. Absolutely, people, which Absolutely. could be one of your people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, but in this country, we go fankum fankum. You know what that means? Well, yeah. yeah, fankum fankum. We don't People care about don't, it. They're yeah. They don't care about it. 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 They don't care about
And I said, the pre the pre preventive care, that's what it needs to be established very well. Mm -hmm. All these women, if they get COVID prenatal care, mm -hmm. you have to go uh, every four weeks, depends on the state of your pregnancy. You, you get your blood test. You get tests for sickle cell, mm -hmm. you get tests for malaria, mm -hmm. you tests for anemia, mm -hmm. blood pressure for high blood pressure, diabetes, mm -hmm. kidney function, liver function. All these tests should be done. Mm -hmm. And then scan to see how the baby is. Mm -hmm. All this should be done. Yeah. And this could be diagnosed and treated before you go to before you go to before the doctor. Doctor. Because if you are in labor now, it's a different story. Different someone story. someone going to high blood pressure at labor. What do you expect? Oh. And I tell another thing that I've explained that, that really hurt. I, when I came to this country, yeah. I had to go at the heartbeat and I had to do rotation in different words. Yeah. I see the nurses go to sleep. Sure. You sleep at night. Go to sleep. Go to, go to sleep. You know? um, and if you look at it, it's lack of staff. That's one of them. Because they go to sleep. Or they overwork. They overwork. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. so the drugs that should be given mm -hmm. at night may not be given. May not be given. Because because they, I've they seen it. I've sleeping. seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. So it's, 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 it's a system overhaul that we need. System, complete system overhaul. So and then to change the Gambian mindset, to commit to the country rather than yourself. Highlight certain things, okay? Yes. One, the, the nurses or their staff are poorly paid, poorly paid. Mm -hmm. not inter incentivized, uh, incentivized yeah. in a way that they will make, or well, they will find the job in the public uh, facilities mm -hmm. attractive. Attractive, mm -hmm. exactly. So you see, somebody will be at the RVH and will be in a hurry quickly yeah. to go for a private practice at Afrimed or, or yeah. Medicare or Absolutely. some other place because it's hot that they, they are here and better man. Absolutely. Yeah. As I told you, in the uh, uh, early years of the PP government, I, I was at the RVH, if you are a government staff, you're not allowed to to, uh, to open your own clinic. Yes, in the or, past. Yeah, in the past, but that was thrown because doctors were doctors leaving, were leaving also nurses also were leaving. They were allowed, you know, they were working for doctors, so they, they had to stop that. But then, which is better? <laughs> then they brought foreign, foreign, foreign doctors are coming, but then it's poorly equipped. The hospital has never been well it's equipped, poly. never. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said earlier, I, I said this, we need a national health service scheme, mm -hmm. which every government will have an insurance. Number one priority is a very good preventive care medicine. Preventive. Diabetes preventive. is on the rise, high blood pressure on the rise, rise. Uh, cancer is on the rise, rise. And, and mortality for, for, for child, child, child birth is on the rise, rise. for the mother and for the, for the These statistics, these numbers are, are, are too they're, they're, much. They're terrified. Did you just said this is the Combo and Banyuk era. Yeah. 200, <laughs> 201 yeah. 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 In, 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 in one, I, 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 in I, I, one year. That's a lot. Like, what I just want to buttress on what uh, Ibrahima okay. just said. Like, uh, this, government, this IGP denying us permit, yes. we are very disappointed. Oh, yes. We are, yeah, we are very disappointed. So if I sign, it's, it's because we remove, you know why? We spend a whole lot of money in this institute. We print t shirts. We spend. Nearly we, thousand. We sp it's very, it's very it's disheartening. Okay. Honestly. So I'm speaking, you, do you want to you know, engage the police? Because the police said you can have press conference and you can, you can write down your grievance, maybe take it to the health minister. So but if I plan to engage the uh, Inspector General of Police now for, to, to, for him to consider giving you permit to at least to, to take a march pass where people. Yeah, we are looking forward to that. What we engage them? Yeah. Mm. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Maybe because Monday. Or Monday. Monday. For sure, in the morning, oh. we, will, we, we will not give up, Mr. Chan. Mm. Because you know, give up. yeah. Because uh, as you can see at this moment, right now, Gambia women's life matter. Mm. We support a lot of uh, patients that pass through Gambia women's life matter, mm -hmm. successfully deliver. Mm -hmm. And with their baby, mm -hmm. we support them. Yeah. With their baby, we even give them sponsors them too. Sponsors. And there are some babies that they lost their moms, mm -hmm. and we supporting those babies from uh, uh, private uh, uh, NGOs, mm -hmm. from other people that want to step in and sponsor those kids from uh, one to year to, to 18, 18 years, years so for their you, education. You must then be very offended or maybe concerned when politicians said you are being used by politicians or you are politicizing the campaign. Uh, probably that's what it, you need some convincing to do. Perhaps when you meet the police inspector general on Monday, you need to bring out facts. You know, so these people you support and say, look, don't listen to the politicians. This is a, a very important matter that can affect everybody. Give us a mm -hmm. permit to highlight this. Thing. The game, yeah. I mean, in a democracy, you embarrass the government with these kind of things. Thank that's you. what democracy is about. Sure. Embarrass the powers that be mm -hmm. so that they pay attention. Thank exactly. You. 
but like like yeah. what they are saying yeah. now uh, okay we they are politicalizing us our, yes. or, or our institutions our organization politics. Mm -hmm. okay if they talking about that mr chan yeah before talking about politics what comes first life 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 thank you you understand yeah. without that life will you talk about politics you must yeah. be healthy to go exactly and, go. and mm -hmm. here gambia women's life matter we are not talking about any politics yes, yes. what and we are talking women. about our women's the way they are dying is too much and the way they are treated also sometimes is totally wrong have you read the health minister or the social <laughs> welfare or perhaps the vice president Did um did you Mr. Chan, because, uh, first of all, we invite almost the government mm -hmm. and ministry mm -hmm. for our first March pass, mm -hmm. which some they don't even turn up. They give us a we, 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 we did also here a fundraising mm -hmm. with Jelly Bar mm -hmm. for the ambulance, mm -hmm. which also they don't turn up. The government Just officials, feel turn up. You understand? They don't turn up. So, which is telling us that they want to politicalize us. They want to put our, uh, uh, our your, your group against us politics. And now I'm telling you, this Gambia women's life matter. Yeah. You have all the ethnic groups. You have all different people from different parties. Yes. Your focus is women's life, and not just our focus yeah. in the Gambia women's life matter is. Yeah. Our lives of our women, mm -hmm. the way they are died, mm -hmm. that's our concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't concern us whether you are from there or whether you are from there. Mm -hmm. No, that doesn't concern us. But when it comes to the matter of Gambia women's life matter, we concentrate on our lives mm -hmm. care, our, agenda to our life sector. Okay. You understand? We okay. talk about how to uh, to, to help our women how to, uh, uh, to talk to them, how to prevent themselves before getting uh, to the hospital and what kind of things that they have to do. You know, those are the things that we are talking about. Okay. But the way people are judging us is totally wrong. We don't have anything to do with politics. Right. We don't have anything to do with politics. And there is no politician behind Gambia Women's Life Matter. No, because we have all parties in Gambia Women's Life Matter. Fantastic. Okay. Ibrahim Adrame and yes. Aisha Jane, both from the activist group Gambia Women's Life Matter, who are disappointed that they've been denied a permit to stage a march past to raise awareness on the matter planned for September the 25th. Um, but then, of course, the police said they could go ahead to hold a press conference uh, or maybe pass their grievance to some official at the Ministry of Health. But they said that's not enough. So they want the IGP to reverse his decision because they are not political and all they want is to save lives of Gambian women. We will be back with politics after this short commercial break with our sponsors. This is The Brunch on Kerfatu. See you later. to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond. Worry no more, because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities, and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissable pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kairaba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657-479-980. 8483-340-9400 or 635-9906.
Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? Each year investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park. Started the process aimed at uh, forming an opposition alliance to contest the December elections. Well, there have been alliances before, uh, notably 2016, when the coalition 2016 defeated incumbent President uh, Yaya Jame. Now, is this one also being processed, leading, <laughs> leading us to another monumental change in the political landscape of the Gambia? We will know that's in feature. But for now, I will turn again, once again, to uh, my studio guest, by uh, Biran Jain, Rama, if you like. He is the leader of the All People's Congress, or the All People's Party, APP, which we understand is uh, the brain behind uh, this initiative. Uh, Doctor, welcome back to this other segment which deals with politics. And thank you very much for your enlightened perspective on the women's rather maternity that we had earlier in the program. Now, can you start by telling us exactly what has been initiated by your APP and what are the objectives? Uh, thank you very much, Lamin, for having me up here today. Uh, obviously, uh, it's already in the news. We've had, uh, we've seen uh, reporters talking about uh, launching of this alliance of opposition parties. Yeah. Just like the NPP has done, this yeah. aligned with other parties, yeah. uh, we think it is right that other parties, this is democracy, mm -hmm. so everyone has the right to align with anyone. Mm -hmm. um, so the opposition parties who are like thinking, mm -hmm. who want to come together mm -hmm. as a common front, mm -hmm. uh, the like of what happened in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, are negotiating. Um, we, uh, I cannot give details. We have a of spokesperson. Give, yes. We have spokesperson who will talk uh, okay. in the near future of what, what's going on. You have not named that person. Yet. No, we haven't. We so, haven't. So, so, you, right. so you need to have structures. For exactly. Them. We are, we are the structures. But then, um, your party in this, among those who initiated this, if not the yes. one who initiated it. Yes. Tell, tell me, do you think? Because many people have said, okay, yes, we know that no single party can win elections here. There has to be alliances, and yeah. we have seen that the NPP, like you said, yeah. have even turned to the APRC yes. you know, for alliance, etc. Yes. If you, in your opinion, there is going to be an alliance that's going to take on this uh, NPP APR alliance, mm -hmm. how big uh, should that alliance be? Well, as as big as all the rest of the opposition we, parties. We, yes, we're looking forward for that. We're looking forward, uh, when hopefully. Every other party or every, individual independent candidates? Every other party uh, that, that that is registered mm. by, by the IEC and hopefully also the independent candidates would come on board. Okay. Uh, we make want to make it as broad as possible, no, not leaving anyone out. Okay. Yeah, so it's an open door. We're asking everyone to come in. How did you make contacts? Did you write to them or did you meet them personally? Well, uh, uh, some of them, uh, it's not only me. Yes, I'm yes. talking about you, the group. Uh, yes, the group, the group, the uh, group, we assigned certain party leaders, because it's party leaders who have started talking, uh, to talk to other others, party leaders. Other party leaders. Okay. And that's, that's where we are right now. We we we, 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 we having meetings and we're discussing to, to, to establish this, uh, this uh, very important uh, alliance, mm -hmm. because we believe um, that going forward, uh, 2000, 2021 okay. election in December. Okay. Uh, we don't want only a, a government change. We want a system change. Okay. After after 2014, we hope that we'll have a system change, okay. not only government change. Okay. I think the biggest error that that happened in 2016 okay. was we want to jam out government change and they didn't think of a system change, okay. so that. Uh, 
the next uh, the next alliance of Western parties are not going to just uh, say we're going to get the government out, but we're going to make sure the person who comes in has rich, has uh, has certain criteria that 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 is worth being a leader, not like the kind we have right now. I don't have to go into details of that, but we all know. Okay, people are curious you now because when you say you just don't want system regime change, but you want system change. System change. And then you, you know, of course, you have to change the regime first before yes. you can change the system. Yes. So, so how do you go about it now? You, you all know you need numbers to change the system, to yes. change the regime. Yes. How do you get these numbers? Again, with all these differences you have, um, you know, with all these individual and, you know, certain right. parties. Like the, the people of the 2016 coalition had to face with this, exactly. you know, to yeah. get these differences all yeah. put aside yes. for them to commit a Lame, Lame, I can categorically tell you yeah. that if you ask any uh, political party leader mm -hmm. or militant, yeah. even the government, mm -hmm. even the government, uh, what, what, what do you want? They tell you one progress, peace, and prosperity in the Gambia. That's our motto. That's in the court of arms. That's absolute. Now, the, 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 opposition, the opposition parties all have manifestos that are slightly different. There are some similarities. But let's face it, um, the, ulti the ultimate objective of all these parties is, as I said, progress, peace, and prosperity. So that we are focused on doing one thing or two things. Let's say one thing first, which is government change. But taking on the other side, regime change with it. And that's very important that therefore we have to have a criteria for the leadership. Who is going to lead? It's not just going to be exactly what happened in 2016. It's going to be a different process of choosing a leader. In two, I wasn't here in 2016. I wasn't in politics. But 2016, I think the, ob the, the, the prime objective was Jamie must go. And they, did, they didn't give much importance of who comes next. Now, this is not going to happen with, with, with this, time, this time. We are very much aware, very much aware, that the, the, the solution is not ch just change the government and having anyone. We're going to have someone who has met the criteria that we, the leaders, have, have dis debated and, 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 and elected or selected that, that character, that person, with this certain list of criteria. Okay. Right. Let me take you back to 2016. Let me talk about some of the criteria. Mm. You were in here. Mm. The criteria was this, all right? All the political parties who wish to go into this uh, uh, co coalition will bring in 70 delegates. And it is these delegates who then will be packed in one big hall and told that you now belong to one platform, that is the opposition coalition. Now, from among us, we the political leaders, choose the one you think is capable enough to run the country. Now you don't look at your party, party, party leader, no. Just look at the, I mean, the, 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 the whole lot of us, the leaders, and pick your choice on the secret ballot. So that you can have a situation where I may belong to DOI, but probably I think that the leader of NPP, rather, well, in this case, let me do it because they will not be in the college. The leader of uh, GFA or the leader of CA really is the one who's really fit this position better, and then you can vote. That's what happened in the past. Right. And then we have one Adam Abaro who comes, who came from UDP, but we had him winning overwhelmingly because obviously you have other parties who voted for him in the convention. What kind of criteria are you going to use different from that? Well, uh, I cannot give you the details, but I can tell you a few things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to be like what you said, where we are going to have delegates. There are 70 delegates. No, no. Like this is, they, didn't, they didn't look at criteria. I think they looked at... Uh, that was one criteria. Well, yeah, yeah. But, but not the, not the way we are looking at Integrity. They didn't look at integrity. Oh, they they didn't, didn't look at education. Like, yes, they didn't look at education. And there are other factors that are very, very important. So oh, integrity is one integrity, of them. Education. Quality, I mean, educational capacity. It, it, they capacity. didn't look at all that. They didn't look at all that. They just wanted to get anyone. Anyway. that's where the problem is? That's well, it could, the pro problems come from. it could part the problem. It could part the problem. We all know that the president, when he was chosen, I, I don't know how to do this. I and and I, I wasn't he here. Himself. He said it himself. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. I, I don't want to get it. I don't want to. I don't want. But we're going to make sure that we have looked at the criteria 
Okay, of the, I mean, the, the, look at the criteria we have listed down. Okay, integrity is number one, education is number two, and there are many others that, that, that are on. Okay, so, yeah, so it's not going to be like the 2016. Not no, no, definitely okay. not. There's definitely. this problem people also have. You will see one party who will say, well, if you look at the electoral record in this country, yeah. past elections, we are the biggest. <laughs> yes. We have the most supporters yes. in all the regions. Mm -hmm. Then therefore we are automatically, we should be the leader and the others follow. Right. If you have such challenges, how are you going to map some other? If you have a, a, an entity which says, no, 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 under no circumstance should be uh, really be sec play second fiddle to another candidate, our party is the biggest. How do you handle that? I, I don't think that's a strong criteria. For the simple reason that demo demography has changed. There are people who are now voting who are 13 years, uh, 2016. They were 13 years old, 14. Yes. yes, now, I mean, five years later, they're 18 and they are voting. So demography has greatly changed. The statistics for 2016 can be used. For example, now PVP is going with NPP. Uh, uh, APRC is going with uh, NPP. NRP. NRP. They're all. So the other parties, yeah. the, like us, the new ones, are, are around. DOI is around. Has who has, he has... A lot of others have Exactly. So, yes, independent. So it's not, it's not... Yes, we want to have numbers. On, uh, no, you, no you can't have you can't rely on that because them, as i said the demography has substantially changed so we cannot rely on the demography on the demography of 2016. so we don't think that uh that's actually should be should be looked at because uh party x was popular in 2016 therefore the leader should be the the, the person who should be flag bearer of any alliance we, i don't think so Okay. Now remember that um, I'm sitting here, not representing of course. The, the the group. Yeah. I'm speaking on my own, and we are trying to maintain uh, confidentiality yes. on, on t until not, until not, we reach a stage until we reach a stage yeah. where our, 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 our spokesperson will right. come out and give the details. Ah. But then, but but, but I, I, you are free. To, you, I'm free to ask how wide is your consultation now? In other words. How many party heads have been consulted over? I that? can tell you we have we have we have spoken to all party leaders. All party all leaders. party opposition party leaders. But you had uh, if, at even least you had at least two meetings. You cannot say how how well attended is that? Well they are well attended. Well attended. Well attended. Uh, if the party leaders are not available, their deputies their are there. Are their deputies or their representatives are there. And these are um, top uh, top leadership, not 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 anyone, just top leadership. So you know you, you have only if I mean couple of weeks yes um let's say before the nomination i need to trust out all this before the nomination yes we are working hard we're working hard tirelessly uh and we 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 know we 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 are we are we have time constraint we, we are aware of that mm. but we we are also aware that we have to do it right we are very much conscious that we have to do it right see mm. um this is five years what i consider wasted five years and actually gone Jami has gone backwards. Uh, after Jami, my dream was this country is going to be a new dawn in Gambia. That hasn't happened. I mean, <laughs> I think, I think, this is my personal view, I think uh, what happened with the NPP is a political and moral, uh, moral, uh, uh, what would I call it? Failure. Uh, we are failure, but um, more, than, more than a failure, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a political and moral uh, 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 failure to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were expecting uh, that the TRC would be able to finish its job. Mm -hmm. We were expecting the president would be neutral, mm -hmm. so that the TRC would give yeah, a report. The, the president was not going to be interested in running in the first place. Exactly, he wasn't supposed to run. Right. We had a Jamie commission. Mm -hmm. The the civil servants. Uh, nothing has been done with. We're expecting security is, is very bad. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that should, the, the draft constitution is in the dustbin. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that should have been uh, uh, um, um, and done. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have someone as a president who, don't, who only wants himself to be re-elected. Mm -hmm. And that's why he went to get APRC because he thinks he's going to have them in his quarter and have all their votes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen because we know APRC is very, very divided. Mm -hmm. So we are asking anyone 
we are, we are, they are Gambians, mm -hmm. the PSC part, uh, party members are Gambians, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we, we call them if they want to come over mm -hmm. uh, to be in, in the midst of the coalition, of mm -hmm. the opposition, mm -hmm. they're fine. But they are not coming as a party, mm -hmm. but they are coming as individuals who have left the party. Ah, That's very important. Okay. They are not coming as the executive, as executive member of, 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 a rival, a, a, a rival yeah. executive of yes. a rival APRC. Exactly. No, no. But if they, they could, if they want to come as Gambians own, yes. who have left their party and ah. want to join any party that yes. that forming the alliance, we are we are welcome. Mm. Yeah, we're going to get the numbers. I so, believe. So, yeah, I was going to ask that if you look at the APRC and President Barrow, who is claiming both of them are claiming that. Once they are together, they form the majority. President said it, Fabakari Tombong said it. Do you believe that? No, I don't believe that. Mm. We all know the APRC is fragmented. Yes. There's no question. Everyone who's following the, 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 the papers, the, the news, the, the, the process of everything, mm. we know there's fragmentation. Mm. And uh, there's no reason for them to believe. Well, there's reason for them to believe because they want to believe it. But for, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not worried because I don't well, think Well, the NPP said that if they have got F APRC, supposedly they said they have killed GD. Uh, they, they've also dealt, dealt, GDC? Well, that's what they said. And then they said they've blow, they, they, they dealt a blow with the UDP. So with APRC, they have the majority. You, no, no, from, no, no. from what you have seen, you believe that? No, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But you wouldn't believe it because I, you are in the opposition. Well, right? you, may, you may say that, but okay. I strongly believe mm -hmm. that there's no way this government can win the elections, mm -hmm. if, even together with APRC, PVP, and all this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really unfortunate. I'm, uh, it's a tremendous disappointment mm -hmm. that after we've been able to get the di dictator out and we chose the person to get him out, yes. now he turns around and seeks his hand with that guy and be his bad partner. It's, 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 it's a it's disaster. Surpri surprise everybody. Yeah. It's, 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 well, it's, he said, the president has just been speaking about the alliance. He said it's good for reconciliation. What do you make of that? It's good for the what? Reconciliation, he said. Well, reconcil yeah, yeah, reconciliation, but as I said earlier, if, if you are in the APRC and you decide that the party is not for you anymore, mm -hmm. those who have left because of what's going on, mm -hmm. they are welcome, but they are not coming to us as APRC. The they are come as Gambians who want to be in our party. I see. It's a different situation. A different so what we have seen is the executive, mm -hmm. maybe all, I don't know, of the APRC who's yeah. gone to uh, NPT to and said, we want to be part of your, yeah. your, you. But, but so far, the rank and file of the APRC, you, you think you believe the majority are not? In I, the, I don't, yes, yeah, I, because I, of believe what have, what I believe that. I believe that. I believe that there is a large majority of uh, people, let's call them former APRC, yes. <laughs> who, are, who, are, who are quitting the party and are seeking mm -hmm. to, to be in other parties. And they are welcome. They are okay. very much welcome. All right. Let's come back to this coalition talks. When is your next meeting? Or you don't want to... <laughs> I, I am not going to go into details. To name, yes, I but I can tell, all I can tell you is... Yeah. It's no, it's no, it's no, um, no secret now. Okay. It's in the papers, and so we all of know course, it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it is indeed a process. Process to going form on. Form a coalition. It's going on. Of all political and, and, and it's going, and we are all committed. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are all committed to be on the one banner, mm -hmm. on the one leadership, okay. but mm -hmm. not at the expense of having the right person. Ah. Not at the expense of having someone like what we have now as, as the president of the Gambia. Right. We're going to have someone who has fit the criteria mm -hmm. that we have uh, 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 looked at carefully. Yes. With integrity. That's mm -hmm. very important. So well, many people believe, someone we can trust. I don't want to call names, but many people believe that uh, you will have a lot of work to convince the UDP who might believe, like I said, they are the biggest and they should take the leadership, or DOI who might think that they are principles uh must not be bent uh, for one reason or the other so <laughs> i mean all of us have our manifestos mm. um if people have asked me why didn't you why do you have to join doi why haven't you joined uh, cch i mean i've felt that uh, our party is unique in a way and doi felt the same way and citizen alliance and all the parties we all have, have, have manifestos if you look at them carefully they are very much alike mm -hmm. but there, i think one significant thing one significant thing about all this uh, manifestos mm -hmm. is the, what they prioritize. How do we get to the peace, progress, and prosperity that we all yearn for? The prioritization. As I said earlier, as far as AP, uh, uh, APP is concerned, the, we're going to make sure Gambia have sufficient food to export rice so we don't have to import rice, we don't have to import oil, we don't have to eat potatoes and in the first three years. I've said that very clearly. Because that's, that's where it's going to keep our foreign exchange in this country, so we can use in the health sector, we can have our security addressed, and, 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 and we can have uh, power, now, you know, the, the power, Absolutely. water system, and everything. We have a mighty river. We can even get rejuvenate the river transport system. Could, could you imagine if we have a river transport system, 
and putting bridges along the river oh, no, yes. oh, and, and having ex roads built to the main road, well, how we can decongest the, 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 the main highway. The river would be even more absolutely. resourceful than it absolutely. is now, yeah. Absolutely. Not only that, but it's fresh water, most of it. Yeah, You're going to have two, uh, three, four seasons of harvesting in the country. Rice could be, could be done, upland rice. I, as I, you know, I was in the rice. I, I, I consider myself to some extent as a rice expert when I was there. Yeah. I still have that knowledge. I still, and I know the PP government failed because they didn't have plan B. There was, this is the reason why I always quote, mm -hmm. and I said, there's what I call the imperial foreign aid syndrome. Africa would never develop if we depend on foreign aid, whether it's grant or loan. Loan is worst because we pay 10% or more when we take a loan than the other countries. Why? Mm. Because we are Africans. Yeah. What happened to the African hasn't happened to any other race in this world. What happened to African hasn't happened to any other race. In the world. We have a disease I call post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> post-colonial. Post-colonial. Part of people who went to war. <laughs> exactly. Post-colonial <laughs> traumatic stress disorder. And I repeat, post-colonial oh, okay. post traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, I see. They're still afflicted. You see, we we ha most of the time. We lack self-esteem. The first thing the African uh, uh, presidents, governments would do is go and beg. The person who begs doesn't think mm. how to make money. Mm. He knows he stands there opening his hand and he doesn't think. He doesn't really have any motivation to do anything. Ah. Just begging. Absolutely. So we have to, we have to be self-sufficient. We have to self-reliant. We have to be self-reliant. We have to pull our bootstraps and work together. But first and foremost, we have to change our mindset. We have to change. We have to be honest to ourselves. Honest society. Your neighbor is house in fire, your house is not safe. Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's go back to the, finally to the coalition. And now, what would you so tell the lot of people, Gambians, who might not agree with President Barrow and they want a, a strong and better alternative? What will be your message to them who are hopeful that the process you've started really will grow into something fruitful? What are you going to tell them? I tell the Gambian mm -hmm. that we are working on an alliance that's completely different from what ha uh, of, the, uh, uh, of, of 2016 uh, uh, coalition. We call it alliance. We're not going to call it coalition. Uh, that's because, yes, we are pressed for government change. But on the other hand, we are also pressed for system change. And we have a criteria that the leader must meet. It's not just like, as you stated, delegates said they only choose anyone. No. We're going to make sure, even if someone is chosen, we're going to look at his criteria. And, we all, and all of us unanimously uh, uh, agree that this is the right person. And you are consulting everybody. We, are, we, have, cons we, are, we have actually consulted all the political all parties. The political parties. And Individual. Some, some, all of them. And, and, uh, and they are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Good. I can tell you they are coming. Good. They are coming. Dr. Uh, Beran Jang, he is the leader of the All People's Party, one of the groups who've initiated the process to form a coalition, an alliance uh, of opposition parties to face President Barrow and his APRC alliance in the December 4th uh, presidential elections. Like you heard him, he said the process has started, consultations are wide, and they are hopeful that uh, with the criteria they have in mind, they will present a better alternative to what we have in President Barrow and his alliance. We will be back, I'm sure, next week, perhaps, with a little more information, because I know now you are guarding information very, very, very closely, uh, uh, you know, in this process. But we hope we will have, uh, you know, uh, some information dropping, uh, you know, uh, uh, before we come next week. Thank you very much, Doctor, also, for taking part in the earlier part of our program, which dealt with uh, uh, the Gambia's horrible maternal mortality rate. Uh, which uh, activists said needs to be highlighted, but they are disappointed with the police who said they cannot hold a protest march. We'll be back next week, perhaps, with better news. Uh, until then, love and charm. Wishing you have a great weekend.
Using cell data, now even better. Enjoy 20% extra data on all gum cell data bundles. Buy 20 megabytes and get extra 4 megabytes. Buy 50 megabytes and get extra 10 megabytes. Buy 100 megabytes and get extra 20 megabytes. Any amount of gum cell data bundle you buy, you will receive 20% extra data for free. Dial star 302 star. Data amount hash. Or go to your Yai bottom menu and choose your data bundle now. Gum cell data is Fast, last longer, and very reliable. Gamsil Yai Borom. For all your pastry, bakery, and quality food, CK Restaurant is the only place to be. We do catering for birthdays, weddings, and all related services. We have all kinds of local foods, American, European, and even beyond. Come and have a taste of our local juice Ebe and other services. At CK Restaurant, customer satisfaction is our priority. Planning to have an uninterrupted electricity and water supply from solar energy in the Gambia and beyond? Worry no more. Because Solar Enterprise will provide you with the solutions at reasonable cost. We have experienced personals who can install and advise you about your electricity and water supply with a warranty period. We have good quality solar products from North America and Europe. We provide services and sell products to individuals, organizations, institutions, private offices, communities and government. These products are solar panels, batteries, charge controllers, Inverters, water pump, water heaters, freezers, submissible pumps, and general solar accessories. Visit our stores at 48 Kariba Avenue and Brusubi Highway, or you can call us on 7657 479 980 8483 340 9400 or 635 9906. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve.